Greetings everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this lecture cast of this course. Today, we will delve into some incredibly interesting and crucial topics pertaining to the subject matter. I trust that you're all prepared and enthusiastic to learn. We shall explore numerous concepts and ideas that will enhance your comprehension of the subject matter. Therefore, let us commence this lecture with zeal and make the utmost of this opportunity. This lecture cast will include the ACT weekly breakdown for October 29th till the November 2nd. The ACT weekly breakdown will be subdivided as follows. On the 29th, we will go over geometry and polar molecules. The geometry will include trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal pyramidal, and V-shaped molecules. We will outline which molecules are polar and which molecules are non-polar, looking at bond polarity and molecular geometry. On the 30th, we will be taking our A1 assessments and we will have a review session for our mistakes. We are going to reflect on our findings and we will make sure that we know what to do, we need, what we need to do to improve in the subject matter. On the 31st, we will be going over intermolecular attractions, which will include dipole-dipole forces, London dispersion forces, van der Waal forces and hydrogen bonds. We will link these to the boiling point and physical properties of molecules. On the 1st of November, we will be going over uh, naming molecules. Uh, we will look at the Roman numerals and we will go over covalent bond properties. Finally, on the 2nd of uh, November, we will be going over stoichiometry. The first class will include moles and molar mass. We will use the periodic table to find the molar mass of different compounds in grams per mole. We will learn how to convert between moles mass, molar mass, and we will identify how scientists classify moles as a quantity. Finally, we will analyze Avogadro's constant as a measure of how many atoms, molecules, or ions are in a compound. We will make sure to know the value of Avogadro's constant, which will be 6.02 times 10 power 23. Finally, I'd like to end this lecture cast with the um, motivational quote. Please remember that success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love what you are doing or learning to do. Thank you all. I hope you have a lovely day.